Hello Curious and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk to you about the famous Jet Li who had been all over the media not too long ago, but it's not exactly with regards to his acting career. And now because of that news, his fans are completely distraught for him. Is this the end for him? Why has this actor been causing controversy recently? Did you notice how he looks nowadays? Could it be that the martial arts star is close to the end of his life? Do you remember in what movie he shared the screen with Jackie Chan? And why has he been compared to him? Stay with us until the very end to find Find out all the latest information about the star, but before we continue, don't forget to hit the bell and the subscription button so you don't miss any of our latest videos. And don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all the hottest celebrity gossip. Fans of martial art will surely remember this talented actor for having achieved worldwide popularity and his fame in China sent him flying through the skies of the acting world. However, he began his career to stardom in this country because since childhood he had always excelled in martial arts. His talents for a wushu was soon noticed and it wasn't long before he joined the Beijing Wushu team and the young Li had even competed against adults. Undoubtedly, he and Jackie Chan had marked an entire generation within their genre in the recent decades. But in his beginnings as an actor in such films as Shaolin Temple in 1982 had opened up the way of the world of fame for him and he even dabbled as a film director with the 86 movie Born to Defense. He conquered the American cinema with his participation in the film Lethal Weapon 4 in 1988. His talent was remarkable and inevitable, and it preceded his first starring role in the same country cinema with the movie Romeo Must Die in the year 2000. And just to mention some of the other most important titles, we had Danny the Dog in the 2004 movie Unleashed. He even shared the leading role titles with such stars as Jason Statham in the film titled War where he played an assassin. And we cannot conclude this brief part about his talented professional life without mentioning his participation in The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, where he took on the part of the Emperor. And that very very same year, he also shared the screen with Jackie Chan where he portrayed the Monkey King in the movie The Forbidden Kingdom. He had also worked with Sylvester Stallone who was directing and in which he starred in The Expendables. And to seriously finish off the list, most recently he played the Emperor in the 2020 Disney live action remake of Mulan, about which we do have a video that you can watch by clicking on the link above, but for now, make sure you stay with us. But why has he been compared to Jackie Chan all of his career? And who has been the best? Many fans commenting on this issue are inclined to say that if it was real martial art between the two of them, Jet Li would be the one who would end up winning. They come to this conclusion because they recognize that he dominates three fighting styles, which are Wushu, Chinese martial arts, and Pa Ku Chang. This is an argument used by many fans to crown him as a potential winner. And if you want to know more about Jackie Chan, then check out our previous video. Undoubtedly though, many point out that Jackie Chan has much more experience as he worked with Bruce Lee. However, it is worth reminding that Jet Li has won gold medals in Wushu and he is younger than Chan. But despite all of these words of encouragement that they direct towards their favorites, could it be that they might be wrong? But for those of you who might not know, let us give you a little information about him. He was born Li Lianji on April 26th of 1963 in Beijing, China. He was the youngest of two boys and two girls. When the actor was just two years old, his father had passed away and his family used to live in poverty. While training with the Wushu team, his coaches Li Junfeng and Wu Bin had made efforts to help the talented kid develop. According to a Huffington Post article, Wu Bin would even buy food for the Li family, which included meat that was expensive at the time, and it was essential for the athlete's physical condition. There's also a funny story involving Jet and the former president Richard Nixon. When the boy and the Chinese national wushu team went to perform for the then president, he was asked by him personally if he would be his personal bodyguard, to which Li replied, I don't want to protect any individual. When I want to grow up, I want to defend my one billion Chinese countrymen. However, he retired from competitive sports at the age of 18 following a knee injury but took up jobs as an assistant coach of the Wushu team for a few years. The fame that he gained from his sports career had helped him achieve a career as a martial arts film star, beginning in the mainland China and then continuing on to Hong Kong. Li acquired his screen name in 1982 in the Philippines when a publicity company thought his real name was too hard to pronounce. And while some celebrities have to deal with ridiculous rumors that they had passed away, while in reality they were Fine, Lee had such news going around about him, but it was due to a serious matter. When during 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake, a tsunami hit the Maldives, the martial arts actor was there at the time. Soon after, news began to circulate that he had lost his life in the disaster, but luckily those reports turned out to be not true, and he only suffered a minor foot injury, which occurred as he was guiding his then 4-year-old daughter Jane and the nanny holding his then 1-year-old daughter Jada to safety of higher ground. Though as the actor himself later had said that they were lucky to have 
in by the hotel pool and not by the beach, which allowed them to escape to the hotel's higher floors. Touched by his own experience with the disaster, in 2007, he formed his own nonprofit foundation called the One Foundation. It supports international disaster relief efforts, working alongside the Red Cross. They also help with other important issues such as mental health awareness. But for now, let us return to the present time. Lately, the actor has been the subject of talks, and not once precisely regarding his past achievements that he has made in the world of cinema, but for his recent image. Rumors about his delicate state of health had been reported inside and outside of China, following a recent publication of photos of him in a Tibetan monastery in which he looked like he was much older than he is, with a wrinkled face and a bald head. The actor had been battling different health problems, and it was even speculated that his family doctor said that because of all the series of action movies he played in, he had left him worn out and his body could not support the kind of roles he once took on without the need for stuntmen. And we're talking decades of action movies and forced training to give best performances on the big screen. This resulted in a series of health problems that are summarized by hyperthyroidism, fatigue, and weight loss. In 2013, Lee revealed that he suffered from this condition and he has been dealing with the problem since 2010. And since his heart rate can reach 130 to 140 BPM while resting, he takes medication to control it and has been advised not to exercise at all. In 2016, he stated that he had recovered from his illness and that accepting fewer movie offers was due to his charity work and not his health conditions. However, in 2018, he appeared in a series of photographs in which he looked far from what he should, corresponding to that age of 55 at the time. To that, the actor responded by saying that his fans should not worry about him and that he's in excellent health condition. But what do you think, Curious? It seems that his career has come to an end. Although there are no statements with regards to his retirement from the world of acting, the speculation is that it will not take long for one to appear. Though remember that his last performance was in the live-action Mulan where he could be seen a little bit better, though everything is uncertain around his martial arts acting, you know, where the big screen is concerned. He stopped appearing in films and shows for a long period of time after Mulan, and we don't know any of his other future projects. In fact, last year he shocked the media with the last photo he uploaded uh, with two of his daughters, where they both show a lot of beauty. and undisputed resemblance to the actor. The actor has had his daughters as the fruit of his relationship with the retired actress Nina Li Chi, with whom he formed a strong relationship and the two married in 1999 and are still together to this day. Together they have four daughters, Jada Lee, Si Lee, Jane Lee, and Taimi Lee who have all managed to stay away from the spotlight. So curious, what are your thoughts on Jet Li as an actor? What do you think about his movies? Would you like to see him on the big screen again? Who in your opinion is better, Jackie Chan or Lee? And do you think he will retire from acting? Let us know in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Until next time!